Welcome, I'm Diet Mawson, I'm the Education Coordinator at the Northeastern Nevada Museum. We would like you to join us in honoring the veterans from our community. Elko, Nevada was founded in 1868 when the Rail Transcontinental Railroad was built. In 1898, following the explosion of the USS Maine in the Havana Harbor, 50 young men from joined what was known as the Elko Light Infantry. From West Point graduates to a four-star general, Elko has given many young men and women in service to our country. We thank you all, even though we are only able to name two today. Charles Harper, longtime Elko resident, was an 18-year-old 5th Division radio operator in the Marine Corps during World War II. His division landed on the island of Iwo Jima in the third wave, five minutes after the first wave. He spent the month of February 19th through March 27th, 1945, packing his radio across the island on his back. At one point, his radio was used by a Navajo code talker, among other personnel, sending transmissions. When his lieutenant was shot, he used the radio to report the event to his commanding officer. He was then sent in search of a replacement officer. That officer didn't like having a radio follow him, but Mr. Harper did his job and followed him anyway. After the mission on Iwo Jima, the 5th Division returned to Hawaii in preparation to occupy Japan. Charles Harper was in Hawaii the day the atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. He was transferred to the 2nd Division and finished his time in the military as an occupation troop. At 96 years old, he is a COVID-19 survivor and still resides in Elko. World War II was the first time women were able to serve in a capacity other than as nurses. In May 1941, a bill was introduced to Congress for the creation of the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps. It wasn't until May 15, 1942, that Franklin D. Roosevelt signed the, pro the bill into law, creating the WAC. The WAC was established to allow women the same rights and benefits afforded male soldiers while the creation of the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps allowed women to perform more duties within the military and receive the same basic rate of pay as enlisted men, they were not eligible for overseas pay or government life insurance. In 1943, another bill was introduced that would drop the auxiliary status of the WAC and allow women to serve overseas. In July 1943, legislation was signed that gave women all rank, privileges, and benefits of their male counterparts. Florence Harriman was one of the many women to join the Women's Army Corps. She was born in Kansas on July 31st, 1923, and grew up on her family's farm. She attended nursing school in St. Joseph, Missouri, and joined the Army Nurses Corps. She held the rank of First Lieutenant in the World War II U.S. Army 7th Service Command of the Women's Army Corps. She was stationed in the Philippines until the end of the war. After she was discharged from the Army, she returned to her home in Kansas. She remained there until Nurse Marie Herbster of Elko General Hospital recruited her to join her nursing staff. She moved to Elko in 1946 and continued her work as a nurse. She met Elko native Herbert Harriman and the two were married in April of 1947. Together they ran a floral shop until 1974. Florence continued her work at Elko General Hospital until her retirement in 1989. She remained involved in nursing by volunteering with Nevada Home Health and Hospice until her death in 1997. Charles Harper and Florence Harriman are just two examples of the many men and women that have served our country and our community from the Spanish-American War in 1898 to present day. Thank you for your service and sacrifice from the Northeastern Nevada Museum.